Right now, health updates of Florida Senator Marco Rubio's daughter. Also, new job opportunities that are in your area. All this and more, 96 News starts right now. Hello everyone and welcome to 96 News. This is the week of October 29th. I'm Vanessa Mieses. And I'm Matthew Hall. Polk County Sheriff's detectives are trying to identify a man who attempted to rob a CVS pharmacy on US 98 North in Lakeland Saturday afternoon. After making small talk with the pharmacy technician, he pulled a black handgun and demanded prescription medication. He ran from the store without getting any drugs and got into a small blue car. The man is white, about 6 feet tall, 170 to 190 pounds. He was wearing a black beanie, a blue and black plaid long sleeve shirt, faded black jeans, and black shoes at the time of the crime. If you have any information, please call 863-298-6379. Rubio's daughter is in fair condition after an accident. The 12-year-old daughter of Florida Senator Marco Rubio is in fair condition after she was airlifted to Miami Children's Hospital Saturday following a golf cart accident. The senator was notified when he was coming off stage at a rally with presidential candidate Mitt Romney. The accident happened when she was a passenger in a golf cart that was involved in a collision. Amanda Rubio does have a concussion, but is said to be doing better. The Senator and Mrs. Rubio are grateful for all the outpouring of support and prayers they have both received. Both President Obama and Vice President Biden have called with their condolences, and Mitt Romney added his condolence with a personal message. Matt, the New Yorker in me has left. I thought this morning was freezing. I absolutely loved this weather. It is really? perfect. It's not too cold for you? No, it's right at home oh, for me. Man. Well, that's because you're from California. So. <laughs> right, Molly Dodd, what do you think about the weather? Well, Vanessa, the weather is a little too cold for my taste. A cold front has moved through this weekend, bringing fall weather. Beginning with Tuesday, the high will be 69 degrees with a low of 56. Wednesday and Thursday, highs will be in the upper 70s with lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Friday, the high will be 78 with a low of 57. Expect sunny weather throughout the week. Moving into the weekend, Expect cooler weather with highs in the mid to upper 70s and lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Great weather for any fall festivities. Back to you. Thanks, Molly. Hiring for the Christmas season is in full swing. Christmas is a couple months away, but retailers are st starting to hire new seasonal employees. Projections for jobs are slightly higher from last year, but still below pre-recession levels. Target is adding between 80 and 90,000 jobs nationwide, well, Walmart will add about 50,000, which is slightly up from last year. Altogether, retailers are looking to add around 600,000 seasonal employees this year. Along with employee gains, consumer holiday spending is also projected to rise as much as 4.1% from last year. This according to the National Retail Federation. The organization's CEO, Matthew Shea, called it the most optimistic forecast the RNFs has released since the recession. There's a lot to do this season. Reporter Victoria Garcia tells us an event that has everyone getting lost in all the fun. For the past two years here in Lakeland, Florida, Corn Fusion has been a popular event, attracting thousands of parents and children out to enjoy fall festivities. This is just the second year we've tried it. Last year was the first, obviously. It done really good. So this year we came in and built a lot of buildings and permanent buildings. Last year everything was pretty much temporary. The success of Corn Fusion last year was an economic blessing for the Smith family. Our main source of income has always been uh, cattle and sod. And then when the economy tanked a couple of years ago, it was like, we've got to find something else to do. Corn Fusion has a ton of enjoyable activities for people of all ages. We have hayride, two corn cannons, Corn Barn, we have a children's play area, mini maze, the main maze, the bounce pillow, which we're the only ones that do have a bounce pillow. They also have a pumpkin patch and other activities for the kids. For the nighttime this year, they added zombie paintball for teens and adults. That is a 30 minute hayride. Uh, it starts after dark, there's four shooting stations. The hayride is narrated so that you know when to start shooting. We supply the paintball gun and 200 rounds of ammo. Zombies 
do not get on the trailer. They don't attack the trailer. They've got their area they have to stay in. Corn Fusion is open from October 19th to November 25th every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For 96 News, I'm Victoria Garcia. Thank you, Victoria. Winter Haven law enforcement officers arrested a woman for the third time in less than four months on charges that she used children to help her shoplift thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. Deputies arrested Brandy Heron after a warrant was issued by the Winter Haven Police Department on five counts of grand theft and five counts of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Affidavits say she used her 14-year-old daughter and a 7-year-old child as lookouts to participate in stealing the items. In all five of these cases, surveillance footage showed Heron along with one or both of the children stealing an Xbox, PlayStation 3, and Wii controllers. According to report, the value of these items totaled over $2,000. Heron was released from Polk County Jail on $13,000 bail. She is being charged with seven counts grand theft and five counts of contributing to the delinquency of a minor and shoplifting. Well, it's bad enough that she was stealing, but she gets the kids involved. Yeah, it's, just, it's a shame. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, over to Angie with sports. Thanks, guys. Well, let's start bringing it in with the Bears. They really played hard, got it together in the second half against the Chargers. Their offense did it for them this week, and last week they proved their defense. But their offense under Jay Cutler showed out. Brandon Marshall got involved. It was an awesome win for the Bears. Now, the Falcons. Falcons are still unbeaten, top the Eagles, and Julio Jones with a big game. Some even questioning if he's already better than Roddy White. Julio Jones is faster, bigger, stronger, but Roddy White has the experience. His football IQ is there. He has the mental necessity for the game, knows what to expect under pressure, and has the years under his belt. Now, what's going on with the Chargers? They fell to the Browns, only had some field goals, and the question is, is it time to let go of Coach Nor Nerv Turner? After watching this week's game, you see how the Chargers have been playing. They seem like they're just running through the motions, playing uninspired football. It may be time for Coach Norv to exit. Now, the most anticipated game of the week was the Giants and the Cowboys. A wild game. Cowboys had an intense second half, but fell short, losing such a big lead in the Cowboys. Isn't surprising. The Giants have an outstanding defense. We've seen it these past two years. They come and they perform, putting pressure on the quarterbacks. A Offensively, can they get it done? Of course they can. They have Eli Manning. It's just about finishing, and they did that. They won the game. Tony Romo threw three interceptions early on, brought the team back. No matter what, he has the ability of adding points to the board. He is capable, but he needs to have respect for the football. Giants sealed the victory. Well, I'm Angie Casada with 96 Sports. Back to you. Thank you, Angie. Well, that's all the time we have left. Keep it here on 96 News for all the latest in breaking news, weather, and sports. I'm Matthew Hall. I'm Vanessa Mieses. Have a great week, everyone.